Hey everybody, frugal farmer here. This is what's sometimes known around my area as the devil's walking stick. These are some briars that will make you regret the day you were born. And they will tear you and ah, I just I get too many flashbacks looking at it. Well, there's a little store a uh, mile or so from my house. And uh, we were up there one day, and this pretty girl came up there, and she had some friends with her. Ah, she was beautiful. And I was about 11 or 12 years old, and uh, women were very sparse in my world. I'd see them at school and at church, and uh, but during the summertime, you didn't hardly see them. And she was pretty. So... I want to talk with this girl, so I offered to walk her home. Well, I had, there was two guys with me, friends of mine, and they were being a little bit obnoxious, and I, I told them, I said, y'all need to shut up. So they were talking together, and I was talking with this girl, and then her two friends were talking. So it was an ideal setup, you know, three pretty girls and three country boys. Well, anyway... I didn't know, but evidently they took the long way home so they could talk with us longer. Well, we're walking down the road and just talking, you know, about school and everything like that. And because uh, this one girl, she was going, she was a new student. She was going to be going to school. I went to, and I was happy to say the least. But uh, anyway, here comes a car barreling down the road. And I mean, you can tell this car is serious. And the girl said, oh, no, that's my daddy. Well, <laughs> that was our cue to vacate the premises. We hit a briar patch, and we were eat, slam up. Well, the girls were laughing because we were running through, getting hung up on them briars. The other boys, they were stopping, trying to get unhung. And I, I was real long-legged, so I was jumping around like a little rabbit going through that briar patch. <laughs> Well, Daddy stopped. He hollered, where y'all going? Where y'all going? And uh, we uh, stayed in the woods. He picked up uh, his daughter, I later found out, and uh, her two friends carried them home. Well, I wanted to see that little girl again. So I worked up my nerve and took a good bath. And uh, I dug up some flowers and put them in a pot and uh matter of fact i had two pots and uh so you, know, you think that was hard riding up to their house on a bicycle and i had to do a little investigation work to find out where she lived but i finally figured that out so i went there and knocked on the door i was scared well who would answer the door but her daddy he looked at me and uh he knew what I was there for, so his wife come to the door, and uh, she's a sweet lady. He and he's a good guy. I eventually, uh, I just fell in love with him and his wife, and uh, so his wife, she was grinning, and they called her daughter. So I gave her a pot of flowers and her mom a pot of flowers. I don't think they live long. I don't know if I left any roots on them or not. I didn't know that much about it, but uh, I gave them the flowers and. Uh, I was allowed to sit and talk with her for a little while. And uh, we talked and uh, called a little bit. The way it was back in the day, you'd get on the phone and um, you'd want to talk to your sweetheart or something on that old rotary dial phone. You better hope that cord was long where you could get in a room by yourself. If not, your brothers and sisters would give you down the road. And they were doing the same thing. It's just you got caught. Well, anyway, I, I was... I had a mad crush on that girl till we got in about 10th grade. And uh, I said, you know what? I said, uh, I was, had them on my mind. I was going in the military. That was my main focus. And uh, ended up, she got married right after high school. I think she had one or two kids. But uh, I saw her infrequently, but I'd see her mom and daddy. And uh, fell in love with them, just loved them to death. And uh her, her nephew, I met him, and um, I relayed that story, and he laughed. He was crying laughing about it. And uh, But 
her daddy, I went to see him. He was on uh, hospice care, and I went and saw him before he passed away. But he's a good man. And uh, mainly because he didn't throttle me that day for walking down the road talking to his daughters without permission. But there you have it. And this is one day that the devil's uh, walking stick chewed me up. Thanks for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.